Dwayne here. Phoenix typewriter.com. Gonna put all these parts back in this royal. We got roller that's reattached to the core. New front feed rollers, well replacement front feed rollers. And I tried to straighten this out a little bit with that flat spot that was on here. If this doesn't work, I'll be taking it back apart and replacing it with the metal one that came out many, many years later. Looks like a match. So what I did here with these uh, front feed rollers, they were flat as they get. Two flat spots right there. You can see the big flat spot. Was. Get that. Okay, I'm back. Take a call there. Um, so, what I found was a set of feed rolls like this in my feed roller pile and I actually took these off the shaft and put them onto the royal shaft but I had to build some spacers well, I'm this is this is the royal these are good rollers so I had to cut this roller in the middle down it was not as wide as the side ones and then put the right spacers in here and then that's going to work and it's got new rollers but I salvaged them, salvaged them from a piece like this that I pulled from some other typewriter. So now this one should work. And like I said, I smoothed out the flat spot on that. Let's put them in the typewriter. Let's not waste any more time. And we got the typewriter up here. And we're going to drop these in and see how it goes. Alright, so first thing I guess we got to do is put this roller in and make sure it's lined up here properly moving some of these collars around These are all turn them free. Good. It's the first time I actually set it in there since I redid it and I didn't really test fit it, but it looks like it's working. Okay, so then the pan goes in here, which this was all rusted up, so I had to wire wheel that and got that working a lot better or looking a lot better. These little flaps got to go up. that in place. Let's screw that down with a screwdriver right here. Not the right screws. These are the right screws. Okay. Okay, that's tight. Let's do the rest of this now. So first thing that's got to go back in here is the ratchet collar. This is your detent release. I would release that so this fits in here. Just like that. Just let it dangle. Oops. And we're just going to stick the platen roller in. Like this, and there is no washers to worry about on this one. Just goes in like that. Then a shaft slides in this side. And I'm gonna put some oil on this right there and over here on the end. I'm gonna stick this in and it's got a twist just the right way. We can actually tighten this down right now. And tighten that down. And I want to clean 
move this roller here. Got some oil in here already. And let's put the Okay, I'm not gonna put that knob on yet. I wanna see if the paper feeds through here. It still feels a little rough. I can feel that flat spot. When you take the detent off and roll it free, you can you can feel the the, the roller and the and the flat spots. But if it rolls through, we're gonna keep it as it does. I think we're just gonna use this, even though it's got a flat spot on it still. I think that will work. Yeah, it grips real tight. Okay. I'm gonna say that's good. Let's put this knob back on here. This has a couple flat spots there. You can you can kind of see how it goes. Let me get my bigger screwdriver here because this these set screws were look like they were about to mess up on me. I think that's going to work. I like these front ones. At least they're nice. Turning. Of course, I have to maybe do something with this bail roller. They're not. That one's turning, but this one has got a pretty good flat spot. Well, they're both kind of turning. Alright, Phoenix Typewriter.